Hello my YouTube family, this is Barbara. Welcome to my channel, Picky Chick. In today's video, I have a Goodwill Blue Box, a mystery box of jewelry to open for you. This particular box is from Lake Worth, Florida. And I am just gonna jump right in. And while I'm unboxing this or un unveiling with the, with the razor, you know, cutting it open. <laughs> I wanna just mention that I am a full-time seller on eBay. So I love selling jewelry and oftentimes I get some of my pieces from these mystery boxes. Now this is a five pound box and it's right around $35. I know they did have a price increase, but I bought this before the price increase and holy moly, it's loose. Uh, sometimes you get bagged items, bagged boxes I should say, and sometimes you don't. So what I am going to do is, uh, that's why these boxes come in handy here. I have like an empty shoe box and I'm gonna dump everything out in the shoe box and start pulling stuff out. Here's the first piece I pulled out. It is a stretch bracelet and these green beads are ceramic. Here we have a little, oh, he's cute, a little um, turtle. A little turtle bead and he is also feeling ceramic there's something on the bottom there that says LEPS I don't know what that means but it's in pretty good shape actually I like the color green so any turtle lovers out there oh by the way if you see anything in the video that you would be interested in purchasing please send me an email here is my email address on the screen it's kitsch.barbara at yahoo.com you will also find my email in the description box right below the video i just pulled out another stretch bracelet the elastic on it is very much worn out it would need to be restrung but as far as the bracelet goes the components are great there is no fading on this gold on this um, metal part and then all of the little stones are there they're kind of chunky stones they're not little um, dome shaped pretty blue so this one will go in a craft lot here is a square vintage brooch I like it a lot it's antique gold tone it has clear crystals there is one crystal missing right there maybe it's still in the box in in the loose pieces inside but here's the back it well you know what this one just may may be uh, looks like vintage it may not be actually vintage I don't see a maker's mark on this one, but I will keep this aside to see if this rhinestone shows up. Here is a card with some pierced stud earrings. Some are missing, of course. Um, I'll put this aside. Not that I expect to sell it, but maybe if some of the earrings that are missing are on here, but I will. this will end up in a craft lot. This next piece is a very old necklace. Here is an up-close view of this barrel clasp, quite old, and these are malachite beads. The malachite beads have these green seed beads in between, and it's a little bit loose, but this is quite old, so they're very cold to the touch. It's definitely malachite. I'm really happy with this piece, very happy. Next is this very old pin, and I say it's old because when I turned it over, I see this C clasp right there, and that indicates that it is very old. Now we have little kitties in black and yellow and has like an enamel covering. It's in great shape. Um, we'll take another look at the back, and there are not any marks on it as far as maker's marks. Doesn't this remind you a little bit of Laurel Birch? It's, it's definitely not, but... I don't know, it kind of reminds me of Laurel Birch designs. Check these earrings out. Don't they look like fingernails? <laughs> if you had really big hands, gorilla hands. Anyway, I love the color. These are like uh, acrylic and they're very old. Again, very old. I think these might be from the 60s or 70s. So one is a little dirty, dirtier than the other. This one's dirtier in my right hand, however, They'd be easily cleaned up. I'm going to clean them up and I'm going to list these. Here's another pair of older earrings. Now these I'm going to guess are from the 1980s. Love the design on these. Gold tone, kind of a rope uh, trim on them and then a brushed silver. 
and here's a look at the side view so they're kind of domed I really like these now they are clip-on earrings and I did not see a mark let me open it up just to make sure yeah no mark on this and as far as the finish on them go they are a little bit scuffed up I can see if I can maybe polish them up a little bit we'll see but I'm loving the earrings very cool another pair of earrings paparazzi new on card except for this one ear earring is missing the blue stone at the bottom well I probably will put this in the craft lot anyway but we'll see if that blue stone doesn't show up at the bottom of that box we dumped out look at this now you know this is old it says a bond street jewel case on fifth avenue from new york and look at this envelope it has a key so this is a key to one of those jewelry boxes p-r-e-s-t oh presto so i wonder yeah i think this must be a key to an old jewelry box isn't that cool here are some very pretty crystals. One just fell out of my hand. Let me put it back there. And um, I think there are even more at the bottom of the box, but they are bright pink AB crystals, round crystals, and some little bicones in a clear AB. They may or may not be Swarovski, not sure. Um, they're definitely, at least they're Austrian. They feel really nice and heavy in my hand. And I'll put these aside, put them in a little bag, and maybe save them for jewelry making because I still am very interested in continuing with my jewelry making. I just don't have enough time, but I'm holding out hope. <laughs> Here are a few pieces that are going to go in craft. A little shell bracelet, a plastic beaded bracelet, a worn out ribbon bracelet, and then some sort of project. I'm guessing that's clay, but anyway, all of it's going in craft. Remember these beads, these loose beads I said I was going to bag up, and I did. I wasn't sure if they were Swarovski. Well, I have solved the mystery because I just found this piece, which is the same bead right here. And there is a Swarovski little swan there, little mark, jewelry mark, jewelry tag, jewelry charm, whatever you want to call it. And it is also marked on the back. Cool, huh? Here's a super cool pair of earrings. These are Art Deco style. They are mirrored. They are actually made of lucite or acrylic though, uh, in a teal colored. These have got to be from the 1980s. Here's a side view. They are clip-on. Not seeing any kind of maker's mark on these at all. They just need a very light cleaning, but they are just super cool. There are a ton of earrings in this lot. Wait till I show you just how many. But first, let's take a look at these. These are so pretty. These are polished and textured sand dollar earrings. They're in perfect shape. Not a thing wrong with them. These are clip-ons. Here are the backs. These are crown trifari. See the little crown stamp above that T? These are in perfect shape, not a scratch on them. For sure, I will be listing these. I love them. My gosh, there are a ton of littles in this mystery jewelry box. Show me the littles, you say. Well, I will. <laughs> okay, here are, I, I pulled out some of the bigger stuff because I noticed there were so many little things. I knew I had to start sorting, lots of sorting. So here's the littles that are still in this little box. So not only do I have these littles in this box that I have not gone through yet, but I have also pulled out all of these littles, most of which I think are earrings. So I'm about to go through these, see what kind of matches I have, see what singles are left, and I'll be back. And the next thing you'll be seeing is what I have found as far as pairs go. Here they are, all the matches that I found in all of the earrings you just saw. So, there are a couple that are sellable. These are pretty darn cool. These look very old. Let me get a better picture for you right there. So these are cameos with a little gold rope frame and you can see they were originally $4. So I wonder how old these are. Surgical steel posts. 
here's the back of that card so this is definitely very old I put the magnet to it where is my magnet let me take a, a try to see if it'll lift this whole card but they were magnetic see and uh, but in any case they're pretty darn cool they're very old so we'll see about these next these look pretty old let's see if I can get a close-up for you there we go they are rectangular dangles off of the square button up here all the crystals are there so they're pretty old these I don't think are old they're just but they're cute they're clip-ons no name on any of these uh, but they have the black and the gray crystal with a little bit of a gray um, gross grain ribbon running through these are pretty old oops let me get the camera tilted up these are pretty old these are button earrings they're very lightweight very inexpensively made scratched up silver dome earrings no name on them either and then there are just acrylic drops here the ear wire on these are sterling silver so i'll probably take those off so i can use them in another pair of earrings that might be missing ear wires these are pretty i wanted to show you these these are half hoops gold tone purple faceted crystal in there square shape and these did have a mark in them there it is right there monet so these are nice i think these were the only earrings from this group that had a jewelry maker mark on them these are all going to go in the craft lot these are just worn out they're not precious metal now this these uh right here this three pairs of earrings right here they are sterling silver Here's that first pair of sterling silver earrings. They're tiny hoops. There's a heart design, kind of a filigree design. So those are very cute. The next pair of sterling earrings are these tiny hoops and they are marcasite. Those are pretty also. And this is the last pair of sterling silver earrings that are matched. And as you can see, these are pearl earring studs and they're super tiny. Here's the top of it before I show you all the singles as I was laying them out I missed these this is a pair a matched pair and they're actually pretty there's tiger eye beads faceted and some freshwater pearls hanging on sterling silver ear wires so that is the last of the matches and here we have all of the singles some interesting components some really pretty beads on some of these but it's a no-go as far as matches go on these just a couple of my favorites from the singles I thought this this earring was very pretty and this is a purple crystal it looks very Victorian and there was some sort of name on the back of it I can't quite make it out if you guys can let me know because there's like this little rivet that's interrupting um, the ability to read that at least for me let me know if you know what that is another single that I liked was this one it's got a porcelain little rose dangling off in gold tone and it's super super tiny I am guessing that this is a 1928 brand based on what the back looks like so that was pretty cute I thought all of these earrings right here are singles but they're all sterling silver I've got some quartz beads hanging off of this particular earring that's sterling and then a CZ stone in this one so I will be putting all of these in my sterling silver scrap pile. I did find the stone that belongs in these paparazzi earrings. So I will put this in a little baggie uh, with the earrings so someone can fix that and have themselves a new pair of earrings. This is a very delicate necklace. This is a crystal, a blue oval crystal, and it looks like marcasite. It looks like some small marcasite stones surrounding it. Can you see that? and when you turn it over you can see that it's stamped with HOU I have seen HOU before it's just a, a brand they make some sterling silver pieces most of the pieces I've seen are quite delicate I'm reaching for my magnet that's why you keep seeing my hand move <laughs> but anyway here's the magnet and it is not magnetic so this is sterling silver as is the chain so that's a nice little find 
As you might imagine, there are all sorts of things that belong in the craft lot from this box. Um, this is new, but it's, you know, it's inexpensive, so someone might be able to enjoy that in a craft lot. But everything else, you can definitely get the beads off of. There are some acrylic beads, uh, some glass beads, so there are some pieces definitely that someone uh, will appreciate when they get it in a craft. There were a few pendants in this mystery jewelry lot that I thought were pretty cool, and this is one of them. This is, a, I think it's an art piece. Um, you can, as you can see, it's a frog and it's enamel on copper. I didn't see any kind of signature on it. Um, and it looks like there are positions here on the frog that rhinestones or some kind of stone belongs in. And I found this loose rhinestone that I'm putting in here just to give an idea of what, what it could look like with a stone in it. So this is one I'm quite tempted to keep and work on. Um, and I think I will. Isn't this cool? I'm just loving the colors and the frog is magnificent. Here's another pendant that was in this box. It's two-sided. This side says partners in crime, friends forever. And on the other side, it says hotter than a $2 pistol. <laughs> I think that's fun. There is a mark on this. I have sold this before, this brand before. It's called Pick Up Sticks Jewelry. So these pendants are very easy to photograph and I'm definitely going to list this one. Here's another pendant. It's a red jasper heart and it's got this sterling silver, very heavy sterling silver wire wrapped all around it. There you can see the 925 mark on the back. The wire they used on this heart is a heavy gauge sterling silver. You can tell it's got some substance to it. Valentine's Day is coming up, so I will definitely be listing this. I love finding little vintage pieces like this. Now, this is a handmade sea bead necklace. It's Native American, Native American little girl pendant, and it's got a snap closure. Here she is. Isn't this adorable? And here's the back. So you can see her face on one side. Isn't this just the sweetest? And let me show you the closure. It's a snap closure. It does work. And I am just loving this little piece. Here's another stretch bracelet. I really love the design on this. It's quite unique. You can see there are little pyramid black acrylic beads and uh, gold tone beads with it. It's just quite unique. The stretch is fine on it. And I think I could sell this one. It's just very different. Here's what it looks like on. Check out this gorgeous bracelet. You know this has got to be old. This is an antique gold tone metal. And every other panel is this one here with sort of a starburst background and the pearls. Now it's definitely missing some pearls. Boy, this is another one that's tempting just to keep and search out the missing pieces. Now, there are quite several pearls I'm noticing that are missing, but wouldn't this one be a fun one to work on and restore? Here's the back of it. Just gorgeous. This is a fold over clasp. It looks like so. And let me see if I can get this open. Okay, so I got that open. I do not see any sort of maker's mark on this at all. Isn't this just fabulous though? So, hmm, I really am tempted to keep this one and fix it up. Uh, but I don't know. We'll see. I got to hang on to that pearl and find a bunch more to try to restore this. You know, I have to say... Sometimes when I open these mystery jewelry boxes and find all these littles, all these tiny small pieces, I cringe. But this particular one was so much fun to go through. I'm finding such interesting pieces. Here's another example. Now, first, let me show you this. This is a pendant. It's a little fairy. Isn't she adorable? And um, just a great component to, for jewelry making. There's the back. So that's pretty cool. Here's a piece that looks like it was attached to something, but um, it wasn't from anything in this lot, but it's a little carved cameo. This is a pendant that came off of a Monet necklace. There's the Monet mark right there. So I thought that was pretty. 
This is a reverse image. It's a glass piece and it's framed in a sterling, not sterling, but silver tone metal. And I just thought that was interesting. The rest are pretty self-explanatory. This piece here I think is old. I know I said it was self-explanatory, but I still want to show it to you. I think this is copper. I don't think this is gold. Uh, but it, it does seem like it's very, very old. More pieces to craft with. I This is actually very pretty. It just um, needs to be restrung. There's a little bit of wire hanging out off. Uh, this is wearable. These are kind, This one's worn off. This is a hematite stretch bracelet. Nothing wrong with it. And some other components that a crafter would love, I think. Here is what I ended up with after I went through all those loose beads at the bottom of that plastic shoe box that I dumped everything out in. So I separated all the Swarovski crystals out, all these plastic beads that are alike. And then these are just odds and ends, plastic and glass beads, uh, multicolor. There were these cubed letter beads here and these letter beads that have a lobster clasp on them and then some spacer beads. So that took quite a bit of time, but there was something satisfying about it, I guess I could say. And here is what I'm left with uh, after I went through all of the beads. So I, I have this group here that are teeny tiny, too much really to try to sort through. So I might just bag all those up and include it in a craft box. I might even include that penny in somebody's craft lot. Who knows? <laughs> this looks like an art project. We have some genuine leather here and then some, I guess it's clay that somebody was um, maybe messing around with. That's going to go in a craft lot. These are interesting. These are very old pins or brooches. Here's the back of them. Um, this is quite interesting. This is almost like a, I don't know, to me it's like a mid-century modern, but you can see where there is some wear coming through on these gold pieces right here. Uh, it feels really heavy, but I am not seeing any kind of mark on it. I don't know. It's kind of cool though. And then there was this one. This has definite wear on the top where you can see the copper coming through. Um, again, this is a acrylic little inset here, the cabochon, and there's the back of it. So it's definitely not sterling silver, but I just found both of these pieces really interesting. This is a super old necklace. This is made by Napier. Let me show you. There is the Napier tag right there. And on the other side of this hook, it says PAT for patent. But these, this is so old. These are plastic beads on a knotted cord. There is your extreme close-up right there. It's in pretty good shape considering its age. I'm going to say this is probably from the 60s. And it's surprising how the beads have not yellowed. Here's a pretty interesting necklace. My best guess is it's from the late 80s, early 90s. Now the gold finish on this is phenomenal. There's no wear on it. The only wear I see is on the fold over clasp itself. Here's a nice close look at the chevron type of end to it, or I guess you could call it a pendant. It's not really a hanging pendant. All of the crystals are there. And you can see that the chain is a serpentine style chain, but it has some texture in the center. It's smooth on the outer part. Really interesting piece. And then here is that clasp that does show just a little bit of wear. I am not seeing a maker's mark anywhere on this. Here's the bottom of it. And um, just a really cool, interesting uh, vintage piece. Here's a little butterfly brooch. I'm thinking this is also probably from the 80s. This has enamel paint in like a silvery white and brown and gold or yellow. Even some blue little details on the wings. And here is a look at the back of it. Now this is gold tone. I'm thinking, yeah, from the 80s, I think. But really nothing wrong with it. Here's a cute little frog pin. Now this also looks super old. It looks hand painted. Here's the other side of it. And it does say North Korea on the back. So I don't know what the history is on this one. It definitely has some wear on it, but I still think it's quite interesting. Here are various rings. All of these are going in craft. Now they are all wearable. We have some stacking rings here. Um, also here. Now these two gold ones with these crystals in them, they have the most wear. The rest, not so much. 
So all of those going in craft. This is the last group of jewelry going into craft lot. Now these are Alex and Ani kind of wannabes, but they have some usable charms on there. Some jewelry making components. I don't know what this is, but it's plastic. <laughs> a hat pin, a hamsa charm, it's missing a stone, and one single earring from Walt Disney World. I am intrigued by this ring. This is a gold tone wire wrapped ring. It looks handmade. And what's really intriguing to me is that it is stamped inside. I will try to get it to focus. I don't know if you can see that. It, I may even be holding it upside down. But the stamp says W Germany. It actually says WW Germany. That's the part that has me confused. Is that just a mistake when they did the stamping on the metal? Or is that some sort of indication of something I need to know about? If you can shed any light on that, I would certainly appreciate it. But it's a very pretty ring, very unique, and I am just intrigued about that stamp. Here's a pretty little ring. It's carved shell. You see the heart on there. You can see the pink shell coming through. And I'm going to go ahead and size this. This looks like it is a five and a quarter. Here is a funky, chunky ring. Look at this. I think this is pretty old. You can see that it's it's made of a lucite material. It could be Bakelite. I will have to test it. But see where it's faceted on the top? Kind of got a dome shape there. It's yellowish. I don't know if it's... I think it was supposed to be yellow because it looks evenly yellow. So it's not like I don't think it's faded uh, from a cream color. In any case, that's just my theory. Let's size this up here, and this looks like it is a size 8. Two more brooches to show you. Here is a textured heart with a pearl, and this one is marked Taiwan. Actually, that is plastic. I didn't realize that until just now. This one definitely is not plastic. This is a polished M, and it feels really good. No scratches on it. Here's the back of it. It's also not marked, so go figure. Um, yep, they're both cute. This is definitely going in craft, and I'm going to think about this one. Here's some cute pendants all loose in the box. This one here, the cross pendant, has filigree. It's kind of worn. It looks like it's, it's just worn. The metal is worn. Um, this is a real stone. I'm guessing it's an agate, and it has a textured silver frame around it. This feels like a lucite piece here. Hopefully you can see it a little bit better. It's kind of cool. Someone just put that on a wire and made a pendant out of that. Here's kind of a boho, very, I think, made to look old pendant. This is fun. And then finally, there's this one. This is antique gold tone, and it's got some enameling on it. We have some, almost like a, an animal print on this one. And this is also sort of animal-y. And this one, this has uh, gold and orangey rusts in it. So there is that. I saved my favorite pendant till last. This is my favorite of all the loose pendants. It's a cloisonne elephant. Isn't he exquisite? Look at the detail in this guy. It is double-sided and it's in great shape. I am loving him. I will either add a chain to this and sell it as a necklace or maybe just sell the pendant by itself. I just love it. Now here is a group of beads. At first I thought it was a bracelet, but it turns out this is just strung on a cord. It doesn't stretch or anything. I, my theory is that maybe an artist was putting an idea together for a design. It just never happened. It ended up in this box somehow. But there are some very pretty ceramic beads, some art glass beads, some Tibetan looking beads and charms. Um, just a neat collection. So I may just keep this uh, so that when my creative juices start, I might be using this for a design jewelry that I make. Next is this Alex and Ani bracelet. It has these periwinkle colored faceted crystals around with these little silver spacers. It's in very good shape. I may lot it up with, oh wow, I have a large collection of Alex and Ani bracelets that I was thinking of maybe selling as a one big group. So we will see.
Here is a leather bracelet. It's silver tone metallic leather with a little cobblestone design. It's got a buckle closure and a little bow pendant in the center. And when we look closer, we can see that this is signed Henry Bendel. And there's a little crystal right in the center of that, you see? And then there's Henry Bendel mark there on this side, little studs on each side. And I just noticed that there's also an, a Henry Bendel uh, a little stud sign on each side of the buckle. I'm kind of surprised to find this in this lot with all these little vintage old pieces, but you never know. You just never know about these mystery jewelry boxes. So this is a nice little find. I am definitely going to put this in my sale pile. Well, the recurring theme here is the littles, the littles, the littles, the show me the littles. So I'm showing you the littles. All of these items right here are precious metal. Let us start with these two. This is a sterling silver Mickey Mouse ring, and it's very little. I'm going to size it in just a second. Um, and then there is this little adjustable ring. It could be a toe ring, I guess. It's a little bit bent, but that's an easy fix. So that has a little stamped star design in it. Both of these pieces are sterling silver. Now let's size this little Mickey Mouse guy. That is a size three and a half. Next is this sterling silver pendant slash charm, Christmas bells, a pair of Christmas bells with a bow. And when we turn it over, you can see right there, it is marked sterling silver. This next piece is also sterling silver. It is a rectangular pendant with a star of David, and it also has a bale on it. And here is what the backside looks like, and it is also sign 925. This is very pretty. This next little piece is a cufflink. Now, I, I'm thinking it goes this way, but maybe it goes this way. I don't know um, if it's like a logo, but what I see this way is like a head, two arms, and, a, and legs, like a stick figure. In any case, uh, there was not a pair in there, but just inside here, maybe it's on this side, there is a mark that says 925. So I almost hate to put it in scrap because it's kind of cute, but um, I think that's where this one's going to end up. And my last little, little, <laughs> little, little indeed. This is a pendant. You can see that there are three prong set fire opals. It is gold. And here is what the back looks like. It is not signed. It is not marked. But I have already tested this. And this is a 14 karat gold pendant. Isn't this beautiful? We have come to the end of today's mystery jewelry unboxing. I'd love to hear from you down below in the comment section. Please share your thoughts about the box or any other comments you would like to leave. And thank you for coming in for another video. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.